Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add a kill all non-responding tasks, right click menu option in Windows, so that way if you have something that's not responding and hanging up, uh, you could just do a quick right click and then end the task that way, rather than having to go into task manager, find the unresponsive program, then right clicking it and ending it that way. So to do that, it's a uh, registry edit, so I already have it done on this computer. So you can see it's a little bit involved, you have to make a new key and some new string values and then add all this information into it and so on. So what I'll do is I have a registry file right there that you could just import everything in there and that way you don't have to go type it all in manually, so I'll put a link to that in the description. So once you do that, you might have to restart Windows Explorer or your computer to get it to show up, then you can just right click. And if you're on Windows 11, unfortunately you have to go to show more options first and then you'll have kill all not responding tasks. Windows 10, you'll, you'll be able to go right to there. So, what we're going to do here, I have this computer kind of maxing out here on CPU, um, using CPU stress here, right, right now to get that going. So now I'm going to try and open this really big text file and see if I can make it hang, and then we'll show you how it works here. So it says not responding, so we right click. More options for Windows 11, kill on responding task. It'll open a little command prompt here to tell you what ID uh, it killed, and now that's gone. So we killed it just like that, rather than having to, you know, right-click on start, go to task manager, then find it, and like I was saying. So once again, so just, you know, add these uh, registry items here, and then if you want the menu gone, all you got to do is find the section in the registry, and then uh, right-click it and delete this whole key there, and it'll delete everything in it. I'll put the actual steps in there too if you want to go ahead and make it manually if you don't want to import this registry item here, and then you can try it out for yourself and see kind of see how it works. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.